Tulsa King struck me as an intriguing addition for Paramount Plus. I mean, we've got big heavy hitter star Sylvester Stallone in his twilight years, but hey, it is bold to put a guy who's almost an octogenarian in the lead role of a series and give him this many lines. Hey, you know, sometimes it's a little hard for me to remember what I'm supposed to say in a scene. And it was miles better than Schwarzenegger's Foo Bar. It's not even debatable. Tulsa King season one, funnier, more intriguing, uh, interesting in the least. But time goes by, we get in a feud with creator Taylor Sheridan, and what do you know? Season two gets relocated to Georgia. So instead of being in and around the Tulsa Bethany area, of which I spent well over 30 years knowing pretty decently, we see way too many damn trees everywhere. The dirt is never red. Characters are never walking from outside into a scene. Instead, it's let's get that B-roll and then just cut to our set. There is an unfortunate reason why every show is set in LA and New York City, two places no one cares about. Because when you shine the light over in Oklahoma and you say, hey, this is about us, we can kind of get behind us, we can watch this. And then you relocate it, you go, all right, you just lost all your fans. Oh, but if it's in New York, but it's shot in LA, no one cares. You know, there has to be new villains for the season. Neil McDonough's over here. He, he's Oklahoma's top weed grower. And oh, I want to be a big player. I want to you know, be like in the mob. But he's got a Chinese triad partner. Let's see how that works out for him. But more telling, you have Frank Grillo here as the boss of the whole damn region. He says he owns everything west of the Mississippi and east of Las Vegas. So this guy must be like an absolute billionaire. He's gonna be introduced on like a mega yacht. No, he's just out back shooting a shotgun like anybody. If you controlled that much territory, everybody would know your name, mobster or not. And Freddie would have been like, yo, you send me a Tulsa? That's Frank Grillo's territory. Then you have this nonsense where Neil McDonough's farmer guy's like, hey, I've got the attorney general in my pocket. I need you to try Freddy on this case. I need you to get him sent away. Okay, but you're trying it personally, right? How much effort is put into this? Well, Stallone represents himself. I broke and called him Stallone, deal with it. So he calls one witness, attorney general doesn't even cross-examine and they both agree to forego closing statements. Yeah, really put in a lot of effort there, buddy. Episode five, we do the tropey liberal private school thing. Oh, well, we don't believe in punishing kids over here. Everybody gets to play orphan Annie, boy or girl. It is something that I feel like we have already seen too much. And I don't know why this needs to be included other than to reinforce that. Oh, Freddie here, he's of the old school, tough street mentality. As if you didn't already know that. <laughs> and sometimes I don't even think that the lines coming out of these characters are thought of for 10 seconds. This tit for tat shit, it's bad for business. Yeah, well, I don't have tits and I don't have tat, you know what I have? Bruh, then what do you call this on your arm? Latest episode, episode six, it's called Navigator. So you know Freddy's Navigator has to get car bombed before the episode closes. And, and you know, look, to the show's credit, it could have looked worse. Yellowstone had plenty of its own introduced characters, have them exit to no drama, bring somebody else in to basically play the same part. I don't know if I can keep going on in circles with Tulsa King, honestly. Uh, and yeah, Taylor Sheridan, definitely a hack. Given that everything he touches seems to involve murder with cowboys, is it fair to say that Mr. Sheridan has at least buried a body or two? Yeah, maybe I should be concerned about being critical of this series, but hey, let me know if you think season two of Tulsa King is living up to your lofty expectations in the comments below. Leave a like, share, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. I have memberships now, whatever. Thank you for watching my son's YouTube station. It's not for everyone, but he tries. Maybe if you bought some merch below, he'll eventually get good at the YouTubing.